Hey everyone, it's Gene Calderon here with Gene Calderon Apologetics Ministries. Still going on with our theme days and our teachings and our videos, and I hope they're really helping you out. Let us know what you think. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, or you can leave a comment, or you know, click the little bell there, let you know every time we post something new for you to be able to grow and enrich yourself in understanding who God is, who we are, and what we need to be able to do in order to live a life according to God's will. So today I wanted to talk about Worship Wednesday. Today being Wednesday and sharing our theme days always on the particular days that we're trying. We're trying to show you about the whole idea about what is worship. God has his purposes in the creation of every man and woman and he wants us to know so many things. He wants us to know the new birth that comes from above. He wants us to know the, the meaning of salvation. He wants us to be able to be filled with the Holy Spirit and the actual meaning of worship and to be able to reflect the glory of the one who calls us into his marvelous light. And that is so important, especially when it comes to worship. One of the most frightening things about us as human beings is that we will be eternally conscious. We will always know about what is going on from the moment we're born until all of eternity. And, and God has given us awareness and sensitivity and the ability to feel. And if we didn't have these things, Nothing would harm us because we'd never be aware of anything having any effect on us. But we are aware and therefore we're responsible and we're going to be held accountable. I mean, just think of how tragic it would be to know God created us to be able to mirror Him and then have to confess that we lived as shattered mirrors and reflected nothing that gave His nature any credit or any glory or even any significance. If God has called us out of darkness and into His light, we should be worshiping Him. If He has shown us that we are to show how excellent He is and all of His virtues and the beauties of the Lord who's actually called us, then we should humbly and gladly worship Him with the radiance of the Holy Spirit from our own lives. That is the highest form of worship and that is what we are actually called to be able to do. It's a growing process. It's a process of sanctification. The more we know, the more we can't help but worship. That's what it is. Whatever your level of expectation is, whatever your level of worship is right now, it continue to grow in that. Continue to express that in so many different ways and be able to show a better reflection of who God is more and more as we put together the broken pieces of our lives that reflect Him, just like a broken mirror coming back together to be able to show to the world how good God is. I hope this helps you. I hope you're able to grow and learn from this. Again, this is Gene Calderon with Gina Calderon Apologetics Ministries. I am a chapter director for Ratio Christi at Purdue University Northwest. I do serve at Freedom Church in East Chicago, and I am on the board for Lake County Right to Life. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook to be able to stay connected to all the things we offer here in Northwest Indiana and across the state, and just kind of look us up. If you have any questions, leave your comments. How do you feel? Where is your level? of worship right now? Do you feel shattered? Is there an area in our culture today that needs to be put back together to show the world a better reflection of who God is? Let us know your comments and your thoughts or even some of your experiences when it comes to living a life for God as a living sacrifice as an act of worship. God bless you. Hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Express how much you deserve. Though I'm weak and poor, all I have is yours. Every single breath. And I'll bring you more than a song. For a song in itself is not what you. You search much deeper within Through the way things appear You're looking into 